it's nice to see that people actually care about Earth Day again. Yeah. You know, it seemed to kind of fall out of fashion for a while. And I hate to, I hate to put it in such cheap terms, but you know, um, when when we first started as a band 20 years ago, it was it was one of the most you know important gigs for us to have sort of annually, just as a band, like you know to have an Earth Day event and sort of schedule something that was important to us as a band, but, you know, and then it seemed like 10 years ago, nobody really cared very much about Earth Day in this country so much. Um, it seemed like maybe... It's just about eight and a half years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe, uh, maybe that had something to do with it, uh, but it's, it's nice to know that, uh, that, that people are starting to take notice again, and, you know, maybe it's the fact that, you know, the prices went through the roof last year, or maybe it's a new administration and, you know, a sign of hope, I don't know, but it's nice to know that people actually care again, you know? What did you guys do differently for Earth Day this year? What did you, did you do anything different today? Yeah, we played a show. <laughs> we came to the mall. I mean, it's it's. Uh, we we normally would probably just go go ahead with our lives. I know I, I watched the progress of uh, of the Green Apple Fest uh, online last year, just checking it out, and I, I wasn't really part, we weren't part of it. Uh, you know, as far as differently with our lives, you know, besides actually taking part in the festival, you know, we we. You know, we recycle. We we do everything that we can uh, every day of, of our lives. So. Do you, uh, do you use any uh, biodiesel or that? I actually do. Yeah, I in my, I keep my home. Uh, we use like beef blending. Not on the tour bus. Not on the tour bus. No, actually, no. it's we've actually looked into it, and it's very challenging to do on the tour. For the most part, to do it on a tour, you actually have to have a truck follow you because there aren't enough stations around the country to make it realistic to actually fuel up from one stop to the next and book a tour realistically to go from one venue to the next. So there's no way that you can to actually do it unless you're a band that can afford to route so far out of the way and then at that point you're not really on a green tour anymore because you're using more fuel than you would on so there are better ways to sort of make your tour green, you know. I like what Radiohead did on their last tour by using LED lights on stage and just sort of thereby like reducing the amount of electricity they were using throughout the course of their show. You know, we did something very simple last year. We went to stainless steel bottles for our water consumption and we stopped using three cases of water daily backstage. And like, when you think about it, you know, so that's... I don't know, somebody quickly, 72 cases a bottle that we were going <laughs> through, and... We've tried a lot of different things, too, that, you know, seemed like we we could we could make a difference, and, like, I know I, I went, I, I took it as my personal responsibility to recycle every beer can and soda can <laughs> that we wasted on the road, and that, you know, we, we had a tour bus full of garbage bags full of these things, and like, okay, well, it's just not practical, you know, some things... You really want to do it. It just it, it becomes the challenge becomes big, big. So you know we've learned that if you can start small and spread the word, it's a little more effective than taking on. I mean, recycling isn't a daunting task, but in the circumstances, you know, right. it was pretty. Sometimes difficult. it's hard when you're traveling on a submarine down the road. Exactly. <laughs> so, but but we can put that upon you know the venues where we are. So we can request organic fruits and vegetables, for example, or locally grown produce. We can ask that there be recycling backstage, and we can say, "Hey, we're showing up with stainless bottles, and so we don't want, you know, cases and cases of plastic bottles. Please, you know, we're trying to try to make this as environmentally friendly as possible."